Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold QSD for Monday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, Friday. Yes, gold proved again that it was not a normal Friday. Rather, it was a Friday. It fried many accounts. I was holding a buy from double to nine seven. Okay, as I shared earlier also, and my SL was hit too. Okay, <laughs> when goal was around uh, two three six five two three six, I was very confident that goal is heading towards two three nine zero, and my SL. Okay, my SL was two three four seven. Okay, when there was a sudden drop in the market, I could not exit uh, uh, at two three six zero six three level, and my SL was hit. I made profit, but yes, I'm not that happy also. I have taken a buy again at 2324. Let's um, wait and watch. But anyways, uh, goal has been very unpredictable for the last two, three weeks. So my dear friends, please be careful with your open positions if you have any. And if you love to trade on goal, okay, before we start the video, I would like to request every one of you that do not risk much right now. Okay, this is not the right time okay, to take high risk. Market is very unpredictable. Capital protection should be our first priority. We are traders. Do not gamble with your hard earned money. Okay. And let's look at the market sentiment first. Gold surrenders early gains and moves lower mid afternoon after strong US economic data. Gold surrender early gains by mid afternoon on Friday, falling sharply after the dollar and yields rose following stronger than expected economic data. This is a long article, my dear friends. If you want to read, I will paste the link in the description so that you can go through it. So this was the fall we saw on gold yesterday. Okay, you can clearly see that it was a huge fall. Okay, rather it was a bloodbath. You can also consider it as a waterfall, whatever it is. Okay, and technically we have a bearish flag here. Okay, what do we have here? Technically a bearish flag. So in bearish flag, what do we do? When market breaks the flag, we go for a sell again. It is a trend continuation pattern. Okay, so trend continuation pattern so after market opening if gold breaks 2316 we can go for a sell isn't it yes it is but it is high risk because things are not very easy right now let me show you why at first let's look at the weekly chart okay on the weekly chart what do we see here that we have a bullish flag so as per the weekly chart we should have a, an upside like this and in uh, bull flag okay usually okay the size of the pole should be the size of the uh, should be our tp as well it means that okay it means that gold should be going up and our tp should be around 26002700 okay because it is a bull flag and if we go to the daily chart of gold we can see that we do not have a clear trend present okay it looks like a hybrid baby of w pattern and head and shoulder pattern so okay direction is not clear okay we just have a hybrid baby but one thing that we can see here is that okay market has formed a bearish engulfing pattern so weekly chart daily chart both are not clear because weekly chart though it is showing a bullish flag here but it is uh, not possible right now okay and this is the photo chart of gold what do we see here we see a normal sideways market means buy at support sell at resistance should be our best trading strategy and if we move to our beloved hourly time frame, we can see heavy selling pressure. So, my dear friends, which time frame to trust right now? So, things are very critical and dangerous right now. So, let's try to be sensitive and discuss everything in detail. So, first of all, let's talk about positional trade or swing trade. So, if you are a positional trader, then obviously you should always be on the buy side because positional traders okay always make money on buy positions only. And, and and right now okay where you can look for a buy you can look for a buy around 2300 or double two eight seven these are the two levels where you can look for a buy for position and trade and if you're a swing trader also means you write the swings of the market your trades last for two days three days or more than that so swing traders also okay you should be looking at the higher time frame only means your time frame should be four hours or daily time frame and as a result you should be looking for buy at support sell at resistance so swing traders and position traders okay both of you should be looking for buy at double two eight seven or two three zero zero these are the two levels for you and after a few days if market goes up then you can look for a sell around 
two three okay uh, around the previous high or around two four zero zero so this is the only or these are the only safe trading opportunities in front of you right now as a swing trader or position trader if you're a swing trader position trader, obviously you are a very patient person you cannot um, afford to enter on the middle of the chart and being trapped you okay obviously profit is a motive not to get trapped in the market so you need to wait for the right time and right moment there are there are multiple opportunities on other pairs okay if you are if you are losing patience with gold okay but if you want to trade only on gold then as a swing trader position trader you will have to wait for the right time because we are not here to gamble we are here to trade okay now let's talk about the day trading opportunities so again we have uh, switched to the one hour time frame and my dear friends, this is the world's most affordable forex trading workshop that I conduct after every three, four months. The Hindi workshop has started and the English workshop is going to start from 28. So if you're struggling with the market, unable to make money, then my dear friends, you can uh, check out the link in the description because this workshop has been designed only for those people who have been struggling with the market, unable to make money for a couple of months and years. These are the benefits that you will be getting if you sign up for a workshop. It's a three days workshop followed by one month support. These are the topics that we will be dealing during the three days. And in one month support, you'll be getting regular market updates, analysis on our WhatsApp group. We have a Telegram community where you can uh, interact with other members. You'll find, uh, find traders from all around the world. It's a colorful community. And during the one month support, there will be weekly sessions. These are the topics that we will be discussing. So all total, there will be seven classes. You can see Hindi date are gone. English classes are about to start from 28th of June. The classes will be conducted uh, over Google Meet. In case you fail to attend the workshop because of time difference, no need to worry. I record each and every session. The best part is the fees for three days workshop and one month support is only $15 or rupees 1000 for Indians. And trading takes time as we all know trading is a journey. So if you're looking for personal sessions with me, then you can also sign up for a semi-annual or lifetime support. Semi-annual is only $65 or rupees 4,000 where you're getting three days workshop with six months support with two personal sessions. And in lifetime, okay, you get lifetime uh, friendship with me <laughs> and six personal sessions okay, to clear your doubts, ask questions, and also to gossip if you want, okay. So, my dear friends, these are the payment, payment options. Once you're done with the payment, share the screenshot to this WhatsApp number. Okay. And I will add you to the group immediately. So, the registration will close very soon for the English workshop. Hindi has already stopped. So, if you're interested, feel free to check out the link in the description. Thank you so much. And my dear friends, if you're a day trader and if you do not want to risk much, if you're looking for stability in the market, some good trades, then do not look at the number of trades rather you need to look at the quality of trades for that you need to stick to the major levels okay the best support on the chart of gold is around double to eight seven the level from where market reversed previously so if market starts falling then obviously we can look for a good bounce in double to eight seven but before double to eight seven we also have a support around two three zero four to 2300 this is the next immediate support on the chart of gold where we can look for a good bounce okay i have already placed a buy limit at 2304 let's wait and watch now you can see here at 2304 we have the fibo 78.6 percent retracement level plus 2300 is a round number psychological level so definitely we can expect a bounce if the market condition is normal and these days nothing is normal that is the sad reality so do not place any positions uh, blindly no level is permanent in a market once market will come to the level or zone okay observe the market behavior for at least one minute okay if you see the market is showing price rejection from below then only hit the buy button and risk management is mandatory because already you can see that things are not uh, very uh, normal these days in trending market okay in trending market you don't need to worry you simply enter and you can sit on the trade okay but this is not a trending market rather this is not a sideways market also this is a totally chaos market okay. so these are the two best trading opportunities on the chart of go and after the market opening okay yes the market opening is going to be very very important for every one of us so after market opening if we see gold is going down okay 
observe the volume usually we don't see much volume in the first half of monday but some days okay some days are crazy so if you see small small candles then try to avoid sell okay try to avoid sell below this but if you see the right after the market opening goal is bearish selling pressure is high in that case you can look for a sell below 2316 okay so initially you can look for a tp of 40 pips after 40 pips also if you see the selling pressure is continuing then you can continue okay otherwise go for a stop loss of 40 pips and tp of 40 pips 2316 okay this level uh, will depend on the volume of the market and after the market opening if we see market is going up okay market is going up in that case okay look at the volume again volume plays a very important and critical role if you see market is going up with small small candles means market is showing recovery but the recovery is weak buyers are weak in that case we can look for a sell around 2336 and 2342 Two, three, forty. These are the two levels where we can look for a sell position again if market reverses as a day trader. How much you can expect? Do not expect much. In this market, 40, 45 pips is also decent enough. So here the volume is going to play a major role. See, market going up is small candles. What does it mean? It means the buyers does not have much strength. But on the other hand, if you see the market has formed a big green candle, then obviously buyers are strong and taking a sell position is risky. Okay, so one level. Okay, there may be a one level, but there may be multiple trading opportunities. So you need to take the decision wisely. I took a buy on gold yesterday when gold was falling because I checked the contracts data and I saw that okay, um, there were a good number of contracts at 2320. So okay, it gave me the confidence to take a buy. So I have a buy position but um, I'm not very confident also that again it is going to 2400. Already I have paid the price. Now I will exit. Okay, if I see the market again shows um, price is action from above. So the market opening is going to be very important for each and every one of us whether you are holding a position whether you do not have any position so everything depends on the market opening if market opening is very strong okay then we will be continuing with a buy position if market opening is very weak then we can look for a sell position around these areas as a day trader and those who are holding buy you can exit around this area if you see market is reversing including me okay if i see the market is reversing from 2336 obviously i'll exit from a buy so market opening is going to play a major role uh, anyways uh, be careful have a lovely weekend enjoy with your friends and family family is very important okay bye bye take care